So before we get into this video guys, I just want to tell you one quick thing. I'm doing a giveaway. All I provided me with a torch to give it away for free. So literally just put in the comments, I want that torch and I will pick a random person to give this to. But not only that, a lot of people want to get into exploring. They want the torches that I use, they want the equipment that I use, but some of it is pretty expensive. But all like doing a Black Friday sale, it starts today. Every day for the next few days, there's going to be different sales on. I'm going to drop all the information right here. They're giving away free torches. There's percentages off. You can get the torches that I use at a fraction of the normal cost. So click the link in the comments. I'll take you directly to the website. And obviously, whatever you purchase on the website, my channel will get a percentage of the money made. And that will go into Explorers. Don't forget, I might be going Morocco in January. Me and the boys, you know, Josh, Bucky, etc. Carl, we are planning something. Maybe Morocco, maybe France, I'm not sure, but we're going out of the country again in January. And I've just got back from uh, Ireland, by the way. Yeah, I've, when we got back from Romania, I think I was here for a couple of weeks, and then I went back to uh, Ireland and did some amazing stuff. And don't forget, I always use all like, you've seen some pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Come here. And if you didn't already know, this is Fudge. This is Fudge, the dog I rescued. Uh, there's an episode coming up soon. I rescued this dog from France. It was thrown over the barrier. So the dog stuff's actually there at the side of the road. Who would actually just dump a dog like that? Looks like it's been choked. It's on the floor. Someone's dumped it at the side of the road. I can't leave it. I don't know what to do. I can't leave it here and we snuck her over and now she's legally mine there's an amazing episode coming up on me and bucky finding her and uh, basically restoring her back to health and now she's a happy healthy pet aren't you fudge are you we'll see you there so yeah hope you enjoyed this episode guys and i'll see you again soon Good morning we have a problem with this roof box we have that much luggage it's so hard to close but you know what it's a lifesaver because without it we would be crammed <laughs> so it's the morning after dracula's castle we are now going to help the real Dracula's castle because Vladimir Pelle never used to live at this castle, we're at now Brand Castle. So and look, we've got a bunch of kittens right outside. Right outside our door. I, I think they're waiting to be fed. There's three of them here, all little kittens. They're very skittish. Okay, so right now I am at one of the most iconic places in Romania. So right now I am at one of, I believe to be the most underrated place in Romania. If you thought Brand Castle was good, this castle is in another league. So this castle is called Corvin Castle. I'm going to show you in a minute. But this was actually housed to prison Dracula, Vlad the Impaler himself. So this part of Romania, I think, was actually used to be Hungary. And Dracula, Vlad the Impaler, fled. Um, he fled Transylvania, asked the Hungarian king for help, but then he was found to be writing letters to the Turks. So they imprisoned him and believed him to be like a spy. I'm going to drop more history throughout the video, but here we go. Look at that. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swoop in from the boys here. Just look at that. I mean, it looks like some other fairy tale. I saw this on Google and I thought that it was like 
um, a Photoshop photo, like a fantasy photo. I had no idea this place was real. I just can't wait to get inside. And yeah, this may be like a tourist destination, but not many people actually come to visit this because it's so rural. Like most of the places in R Romania are so rural, it's so hard to get to unless you are driving. Let's listen to Cody. He knows his stuff. Funny because his family was actually friends with the Gordon family. So for him to be a prison here was quite ironic. He said that he was actually a traitor and he was sending letters to the Sultan of Turkey. So that is why he was supposedly in prison here. But we're going to go find out on the inside. Pretty much what I said, but with a bit more detailed. As the four crusaders set off on an adventure into the castle. Romania. Chilling by a castle. Oh, you know, I'm just chilling at the castle right now. <laughs> Come over if you want. Right. Come on. <laughs> so right now we are walking down the drove. It's not even a drawbridge, it's just an ordinary bridge. Yeah, More I don't think it draws. <laughs> Maybe at one point. <laughs> Maybe it was like really high. I was saying if they wanted to, is there another way out of here? Buy this. For tourists, probably not. Yeah, I was gonna say there must be an underground passageway because Oh yeah, for sure. If you was gonna come in and attack this place, you just take the bridge out and wait from starve. Yeah, no, there's definitely other routes, but not probably not for us. Yet. Yet. And <laughs> So this is the torture chamber, the original one. I don't think these are original though. They look too new. Oh wow. The ultimate torture chamber prison sub. It's a huge cage. Probably held a lot of people in that. I think there's probably about 60 or 70 people in that at a time. Yeah. Maybe more. It would surprise me if below that there was a, like a fire or used to heat it up. Cook them alive. I've got a sick imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what used to go through here. This has been blocked up. It's like an old secret passage. Oh, secret passage, right? Yeah. Secret passage. Right, shine your light around there. That goes up and round. Yeah, it's been blocked off. Was it uh, early 1800s they started using bricks? Not sure. I'm sure, pretty sure the bricks like that. It was 1800s. Oh. Yeah, I did that as well, Bucky. Watch, watch your step. There's a step there, I nearly went head over. <laughs> Bucky oh, nearly ended up in the cage. It's the only problem with coming to a tourist spot, just all the people. I know. We should evict them for the day. Oh, so I've left the group now. There's Cody down there, Bucky and Josh are somewhere else. Oh, Josh is there. I'm just going to leave them to it. Let's do our own thing. I ah, see, here's a drone shot of the, well it's not, it's painting the castle. We will get the drone shots, you've probably already seen them. Yeah, unfortunately my drone doesn't have a battery at the moment. It's still at Brand Castle somewhere. But I've treated the drone luckily. It looks to be okay. Oh, this is the old kitchen. Look at that. And this is one of the first archer points, so where the archers would be defending the castle. And this would be another archer point. And get this road. It's quite strategical. I'm not even sure what city this is. <laughs> I don't even know where I am right now. We drive that much, just under 5,000 miles so far on this trip. Oh, here's the church part.
size of scale replica of the uh, castle. That's pretty cool. I walked across that bridge. Oh, I think this is a, a scale of the castle before it was complete. Or maybe before restoration. I think there's more dungeons down there. Unfortunately, it's locked. Oh, there he is, there's Cody. would have been the blacksmith quarters. I've always wanted to do blacksmithing. In fact, I'm thinking about buying a furnace, like a bell or an anvil. I really want to start getting into making like blades and stuff. It looks so cool. I think I've been watching too much um, Forged in Fire. Oh, what is this bit here? It's a tiny little staircase. You're not allowed out there. I don't even know if you can see that properly. Oh yeah, there we go. It's an old doorway. Look at this, an old fireplace. It might not have been a fireplace actually, it might have just been somewhere to keep food warm maybe. Welcome to the tower. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the tower, Cody. You know what Cody. I'm saying is that um, this place, it's held up really well. They kept, they kept it up pretty well, so it hasn't been renovated. Uh, you know, like you see a lot of old castles that are like kind of new on the inside. Yeah. This is actually how it was back in the day. And we're standing in the footsteps of a lot of the greatest kings of the medieval time. Walking through history. We are. Look at this. This was an old uh, spiral staircase leading up. I've got to get my wallet out again. I paid that last guy 10 Lee. <laughs> just have yeah, to film I paid him. The last guy too. <laughs> I felt rude filming him and not paying him. I know. <laughs> I saw the last guy, Josh was filming him, and he's like looking at Josh like he was kind of pissed. So I, I went up and like put five Lee down. <laughs> he seemed happier. <laughs> There's a full skeleton here. Apparently this is of this woman. And right by her skull, they found a bunch of like earrings and different jewelry. So we just don't even know where we've been and where we haven't been yet. It's just so big. <laughs> We're walking on this holy wood pallet hanging over the edge. Holy crap. <laughs> I want to see Bucky get across that. This place would be amazing at night. Yeah, so this place is absolutely amazing, but the only problem is tourists. There's just too many people here. But from what I've seen so far, it's amazing. And unfortunately, no one got back to us when we could try and get to have this place to ourselves overnight like we did with Brand Castle. But still, I'm enjoying this. It's not abandoned, but it's amazing history. And I wanted to take you guys along with me as I explore out of my comfort zone. I've been joking, this is the scariest crap I've ever seen. Look at this. Yeah, no. No. Look at the drop. There's nothing under it, it's just a piece of wood. Holy. 
Right, well, if I can only just do it, I don't think Bucky can, to be honest. <laughs> so all parts of the uh, castle. I'm not sure if we can get down there. I'm going to try anyway. Give me a Josh. Or Cody. Oh, it's Cody. This is pretty much a big circle and I was able to shoot arrows out from near enough 360 degrees at all the enemies coming over the hills like the Ottomans. I've not been up here yet, I have no idea what it is. This tiny little door, I think how old this door is. It's locked. Probably used for archery again. That's where I just come from up there. And that's that right. <laughs> I mean look at it, it's cracked. How the hell? Right, so I've done a lot of the rooms now. All the all the ones I wanted to do. Um, I didn't do every room just because it would be too long. But go and check out the other guys because they have done the other rooms that I didn't. So yeah, go and integrate and you can see everyone else's footage. Well, it's another castle down. I mean, I just don't know where this life is going to take me now. One minute I'm sat at home in the UK. The next minute I'm traveling through Europe to get to Romania. Then I'm getting home from Romania, going straight to Ireland. It's just a never ending adventure. It could be Japan. It could be Morocco. It could be France that's next, I just don't know. But one thing I'm definitely sure of, I wouldn't be doing it without you guys. You guys are the heart and soul of this channel. Without you, it wouldn't exist. So I just want to say a big shout out to you and a massive shout out to everyone who has bought merchandise. Don't forget you can get your merchandise www.ewfofficial.com I'll be running new designs every month and I'm hoping to get you guys involved as well. Send me in some designs. If you can draw, send me in some designs, anything you want. I might even just put it onto a hoodie. And when you do purchase merchandise, make sure you send a photo in. I'll be featuring them on episodes every week. Here is some of the guys repping the merch. Hashtag teamfighters, hashtag EWF family.